Imagine this place in the dead of winter. A big chill. The canal is frozen. It's four o'clock in the morning and our heroine, Dr. Sophie Lake, is called out to one of her first ever crime scenes. The ice is broken and it seems a woman's body has been dragged out of the frozen canal. The victim has apparently fallen four floors from a self-storage warehouse into the ice. The whole scene is horribly familiar to the heroine, but even more horrible is she recognizes the body. This is Maya, the girlfriend of one of Sophie's closest and most important clients, a soldier called Gabriel Cody. And this is how the story begins, with the worst nightmare for any psychotherapist, that your client could not only kill himself, but the one he loves. What do our dreams tell us? More importantly, what do our nightmares tell us? The heroine of my psychological thriller, Dr. Sophie Lake, is a specialist in lucid dreaming therapy. Dreams represent the unconscious, and trauma victims often have recurrent nightmares, which upset their life, their sleep patterns, and disturb their general well-being. And her speciality is to make people come awake in their dreams and therefore diffuse them, find out what's troubling them, confront their demons. Except, in my story, Sleeping Demons, this all goes terribly wrong. You turn around, and there it is, suspended in air, pale and mournful, a face with no eyes. Now you're flying, your shoulder hits a window, you try to grab hold, but the glass cuts through your fingers like butter. You feel the cold night all around. You've fallen out into empty air. A hard, bitter taste, like electricity. Then a warm, melting sensation. Your body broken on the concrete. Blood splattered on the snow. But the pain is coming back. Skin burning. You're gagging. You kick out. Water. The sponginess under your feet is mud. You've fallen into the canal. The burning must be freezing. You've fallen through the ice. Feel the ribbed underside. You're running out of air, but the ice is fractured, breaking. One push and it will give. Your blow pushes you down. Water streaming into your sinuses, headlong into the ooze. Why am I so passionate about this story? Well, I spent 20 years as a mainstream TV dramatist doing thrillers. I started off Waking the Dead, Sea of Souls, Inspector Lindley Mysteries, indeed. And in the last few years, I've become a journalist. So this is a combination of those skills. Sleeping Demons is a tense, interior psychological thriller, but it's all based on heavy, detailed research. Great advisors in the realm of trauma, a lot of historical background about Bosnia, Iraq, and art crime. So the best thrillers take you on that edge. You don't know if it's true, where you're going, what's going to happen. And so to combine emotion and research is what I love about great thrillers. And hopefully this gives us insight about the character and London now.